Amadeus, two centuries ago. Little Amadeus, the star of Rococo. Master of harmonies, beautiful melodies, operas and symphonies, each one a masterpiece. However, there's an envious rival trying to put traps in your way. But he'll always end up failing whenever you begin to play. And when we hear your magic music, all sorrows fly away. Little Amadeus, your music and your sounds. Little Amadeus, they make the world go round. No matter what will be with your fantasy, you'll make it finally, cause music is the key. Mixed up violins. Amadeus, come down if you dare to. Sorry, Kent, I have to practice. You know we're traveling to Munich tomorrow. I'm off to play for the Kurfers there. That's fantastic. It certainly is. Hey, Katie, your gloves look really great. I like your beautiful gloves, too. <laughs> and they're good for aiming. You just wait. Mm. Oh. Oops. Sorry, Mario. Thanks. Now let's go and have some chocolate. Here, that's to get your own back on Amadeus. Huh? Hey, but he's not there anymore. Stop that grinning, stupid. Listen to me, de Villiers. The Mozarts are traveling to Munich tomorrow. Amadeus will display his talent to the Elector. That has already been arranged. Oh, darn, it's clumsy off. What did you say, Davilius? Nothing, Your Excellency. Then I think we need a suitable present for His Excellency. A real beauty and very, very valuable. Too good for him. Pardon? I said quite good for yes. him. Yes, bring this violin and my letter of recommendation to the Mozarts. <laughs> there. And take good care of it. As you wish, Your Excellency. Uh. Amadeus, always Amadeus. Just you wait, you little pest. I'll show you. Mm. Mm. Munich? Sounds very far away. Mm, it Ow. is. I won't know what to do without you all. And I could play much better if Katie was with me. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you need warm hands for such a long journey, or else you can't play music. Thank you. In this case, you... Uh, I mean, all of you will be with me in a way. What are you looking for, by the way? Just you wait. <coughs> Bullseye! And now a sausage and some mustard, please. Just you wait. Ah, oh, pearls should not be cast before swine. Ah, yes. There it is. Ah, this is my old fiddle. What do you think? Huh? What do you need this for, Uncle? Have you often played this in the past, Uncle? 
I don't think so. The way it looks, he more likely bashed his classmates with it. Holy mackerel, where did you spring from? Waiter, serve up, please. Ah, on this old violin, I played my first composition, the famous sonata in D major. Ugh, what do you need this for, Uncle? Catch. With this instrument, I will fool the Mozarts. I will simply exchange the violins. Instead of the new one, the Mozarts will give the Elector my old violin as a present. He won't believe his eyes. And what will we get out of it? Then I will appear on the scene. I'll tell them the Mozart needed the money and they wanted to sell the precious uh? thing. Then I will present the good one to the Elector. He will be grateful for the rest of his life. Amadeus, why aren't you practicing? It's a great honor to play for the Elector in Munich. All my friends can play outside in the snow and I always have to practice. It is your first major performance. You should practice even more. <sighs> Continue. Now here comes the absolute best idea ever. You, my young nephew, will demonstrate our abilities in Munich. What? You want me to go to Munich too? But I want to stay here. Amadeus will be away, and then I can play with Kati. No arguments, or I'll send you back to Milan with the next available coach. My sister's goats are waiting for you there, then you can milk them every day. Good luck. <laughs> My ears long enough now. What did you say? You've insulted my ears. That's enough for today. Maledetto! I come from afar, from Italia! In order! Get a scratch you! Your Excellency, may I remind you that tomorrow, on recommendation of the highly esteemed Archbishop of Salzburg, the Mozart family, with their son Amadeus, will appear. Your Excellency, Amadeus wishes to captivate your ears with a concerto. A child? How boring. No, 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 no. Well, let him come for the bishop's sake. Let's see if he really captivates me. Thank you, Mr. Mozart. Where's Amadeus got to? <laughs> Nano, go and look for your brother. But hurry, we must meet the bishop first to say goodbye to him. I'm on my way, Papa. Huh? And what if the director doesn't like your performance? The Amadeus, there you are at last. I'll come right back. To the bishop's palace. The main thing is, I can be together with all of you. Have a nice trip, Amadeus. I'll send you greetings every day through the clouds. I will look up in the sky all day long. Thanks, Katie. See you. Bye-bye, Amadeus. And good luck. Why can't Cayetan and Katie join us on the trip to Munich? Impossible. Kati and Cayetan must help their parents. Amadeus, look up there. There's one of Kati's clothes. Huh? <laughs> Amadeus. <laughs> just you wait. Amadeus, stop it. <laughs> can't you be quiet for just one minute? And behave yourselves at the bishop's children. <laughs> 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 nice job. Oh. 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 Excuse me, Mr. Bishop. Not so impetuous, young man. Hey, Pumperl, wait. <laughs> at your command. There you are. I want you to stay with the Mozarts during their journey, De Villiers, and take very good care of the violin. I will guard the violin like gold. Why don't you show our beauty to the Mozarts? What, now? Yes, now. <laughs> Quick, Mario. He has asked to see the violin. We must exchange them again. Oh. Oh. 
dear me, what a start. Hey! Amadeus! Don't let him play. He's a young boy. But where is my secretary? De Villiers? Ah, there he is. <laughs> Bravo, young man. Well caught. Nice. Beautiful. If it sounds as beautiful as it looks, then... Now that you have seen it, I will... I have changed my mind. Mr. Leopold, you should take care of the violin. You are the one to give it to the Elector after all. But... That's all right. We don't know if Amadeus will be at hand when you stumble again. Right, Mr. de Villiers? That's very generous of you. Many thanks. Coachman! So that's it with the exchange of violins. So we hmm? can drive home now? No, drive home? No, I promise. I will never give up. I will get the violin back, whatever it costs. When will we arrive in Munich? And how long will we stay there? Amadeus, I don't think. I don't know if I want to become famous. If it means I have to be away from Salzburg all the time. But Amadeus, the Lord has given you all this talent and you should use it. I can use it in Salzburg. But the world must get to know you. No, Amadeus just wants to stay together with his friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I fear. Today of all days when we have to take care of such a precious violin. Why don't you let the Elector play the fiddle if he's such a musical talent? I think it's time we had a break. Coachman! <laughs> Pumperl, go and look for Katie's cloud. Hurry! Huh? <laughs> Wait, I'll get you. Hmm. Why don't you just pinch the whole coach? I wonder if you would be interested in playing a little sonata with me. What an honor for us. But I'd rather enjoy Mother Nature and listen to the singing of the birds. Oh, that's fine with me. Dear Cloud, fly away and take this greeting with you. It's a shame I can't fly with you, but I must stay here. Oh, look, Amadeus, what a beautiful town Munich is. Yes, and I think Kayatan and Katie would like it too, huh? But they are not here. That's right. Our musical career will begin in this town. Can't you just feel it in your bones, Mario? Mm hmm? I don't feel anything at all. <gasps> no! No, sir! Yeah? Thanks. I would rather carry that myself. Is it a hello from Katie? Uh, uh. Won't you help us huh? carry the luggage, Amadeus? Of course, Papa. Uncle de Villiers, shouldn't we already be there? Oh, you're right. We're driving in circles. Coachman! <laughs> oh, Amadeus! Now. Practice, yes, Amadeus, but not on this priceless present for the Elector. But Papa, Papa, I won't break it!
sick. Papa? That was very good, Amadeus. Papa, what are you doing here? I should ask you that. What are you doing here? I don't know. It's the uh -huh. first time that I'm really nervous. And Kayatan's not here. Neither is Katie. It's... Somehow strange being away from Salzburg, so I came here to play. It helped in a way. You'll be all right, Amadeus. Do you really think so? Yes. Come on now, Amadeus. You need some sleep. Big day, my son. You do your very best and everybody will sing your praises. Even Kayatan, Katie, and my other friends? Everybody. And now, into the coach. We must go. Hey, Uncle de Villiers. Huh? Mario, this is your big day and mine too. Look at me. Here you can see the new court composer from Salzburg. Provided it works. Poor Salzburg. Here we are. Now behave yourselves. Look, the Elector. Oh, Amadeus. <gasps> Nobody can play with gloves well, on. I can. They're my lucky charm. Katie gave them to me. Let me warn you, I wouldn't go in there. Oh, no. Don't be afraid, brother dear. He was not a great musician. Well, if you say so. Thanks, sister dear. <coughs> the Mozart family, Your Excellency, from Salzburg. Simply forget everything around you. Just play and listen to your heart, my son. Guests from Salzburg. Hey, little boy, come here. Here, go, Amadeus. This is a present, Your Excellency, sent by the Archbishop of Salzburg with best regards. Huh? <coughs> An old fiddle? <gasps> Does the Archbishop of Salzburg enjoy playing jokes? <laughs> Yes! 
Yes! I've reached my goal at last! The Mozarts are done for! Oh, Mama, Mama, what's the matter? Well, do you have an explanation for this? No. Mm, well. Do you play on instruments like this in Salzburg? <laughs> or can't the poor Bishop of Salzburg afford a better violin? Oh. Huh? <laughs> May I, Your Excellency? Yes, it's an old violin. But it surely has heard the finest melodies from all over the world. Ooh. This can't be true. He just starts to play the fiddle and they all fall over. You just wait. Ah. Halt! Stop it immediately! Oh. May I introduce to you Mr. Lorenzo de Villiers, personal secretary of the Archbishop of Salzburg. What's this? Another present? Oh, yes, that is the real present from the bishop. The Mozart sold it because they always need money. They put the old one in there. But I have spared no expense to get it back and give it to you now. Hmm, sounds quite mysterious, but let's have a look. Ooh. Well, Mr. Mozart, I wonder if you could explain this to me. Your Excellency, I have no idea how this could have happened. I have always kept an eye on the violin and, well... Huh? Amadeus! Huh? 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 Hey, Uncle de Villiers, listen. Your old violin has never sounded like this before, Uncle, has it? Huh? This is your violin, Mr. de Villiers? So, here we have the real culprit. Get out of here. You can wait outside to be punished for such undefiable accusations. Take this beautiful violin as a memory of this day back to Salzburg. It's yours now. Oh. Thank you, dear Elector. All's well that ends well. We're on the way home. Katie, I'm coming. Be quick, Uncle. But I can't. You must. I have a day tomorrow in Salzburg. Oh, don't you have any other problems? No. no but, but you, you do. do. Welcome to Monty's world. He is smart and evil. Welcome to Monty's world. He is small, but he will show you all how he stands tall. There's much to discover with Monty. Hello children, isn't that a fascinating instrument Amadeus is playing there so beautifully? The violin is a string instrument and on the board behind me you can see that there are many different string instruments. The smallest one is the violin. Next to it, just a bit bigger, you see a viola. A cello. And the big one is called double bass or simply bass. <laughs> and do you know who this famous a little serenade is playing? It's the four string instruments we've seen just now. And if you listen carefully, you can discern each one of them a little bit. Bye! See you soon, says Monty! There is more music and fun with little Amadeus and his friends on our website.
little-amadeus.com Two centuries ago, little Amadeus, the star of Rococo, master of harmonies, beautiful melodies, operas and symphonies, each one a masterpiece. However, there's an envious rival trying to put traps in your way, but he'll always end up failing whenever you begin to play. And when we hear your magic music, all sorrows fly away. Little Amadeus, your music and your sounds. Little Amadeus, they make the world go round. No matter what will be with your fantasy, you'll make it finally, cause music is the key. 